Ignition. And right now at 10, evening storms help beat the heat. But they also bring damaging winds and heavy downpours. Good evening. I'm Meredith McDonough. And I'm Brett Conley. A stretch of the I-4 corridor was struck tonight with damage reports in Deland, Longwood, Winter Springs, and Castleberry. One neighborhood in Castleberry was the hardest hit tonight. A roof was blown off a mobile home on Holly Hill Avenue. Nobody was injured. Trees also came down on Lake Catherine Estates. Residents say the wind gusts were powerful. Here, and as I drove into the park, I thought, boy, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of debris down in the road. Wonder what happened. And then when I saw her house, I said, oh my God, it must have been a tornado. The wind was whipping through the houses. The debris was sideways, whipping through the houses. It was incredible. I don't know what else to say. The wind was just crazy. Well, Tony, we did not have a tornado, but from those accounts right there, the strong winds wreaking some damage, the rain finally coming in, a lot of lightning, too, that we saw over the last couple of hours. In the afternoon, thunderstorms and evening thunderstorms this time of the year, you can get 50, 60 mile an hour winds. But the good news behind you guys, the number of lightning strikes is going down, so we're going in the right direction here. Let's take a look now what's going on. We'll venture up towards the north and the west, up towards Marion County. We do have some lightning still ongoing south and west of Ocala. This is going to march down towards Danella. We work back towards the east, northeast. Lake County. We do have a couple of uh, moderate rain showers here. Upwards of two to three inches of rain has fallen through this corridor and then back towards the villages in Bushnell. Check that out. Rain is finally beginning to wind on down. But the big story today the heavy rain along and west of Interstate 4, Volusia County, and Seminole County. Isolated pockets of two and a half to nearly three inches of rain. And as we take a look farther to the south, things are pretty quiet south and east of Orlando. 